Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between copper electrode and graphite electrode for electric discharge machining. Electro discharge machining employs the principle of thermal energy, melting and vaporization, to remove material from the workpiece. Copper and graphite both are electrically conductive. Conductivity is essential as the electrode needs to liberate electrons under the presence of potential difference for dielectric breakdown and also to generate spark. So, let's look into the basic differences between copper electrode and graphite electrode in a tabular form. Difference number 1, copper electrode comes under the category of metallic electric discharge machining electrode, whereas, graphite being a non-metallic material. Graphite electrode is classified as non-metallic electrode. Number 2, being a ductile metal, copper electrode can be fabricated easily. Sharp corner and edges can also be provided without much problem, whereas, being a brittle material, graphite depicts poor machinability. So dye having sharp corners and edges is very difficult to fabricate. Number 3, density of copper is typically 8.96 grams per cubic centimeter. Thus, dye made of copper is much heavier, whereas, density of copper is typically 2.26 grams per cubic centimeter. For same size of dye, graphite dye is lighter than copper one. Number 4, melting point of pure copper is about 1085 degrees Celsius. Sometimes copper electrode tends to change its form due to extreme spark heating, whereas, melting point of graphite is more than three times higher than that of copper. Thus it tends to retain its form even at high electric discharge machining temperature. Number 5, because of its low melting temperature, copper electrode is also affected by thermal shocks. Thus several mechanical properties may change undesirably, whereas, graphite electrode is less vulnerable under thermal shocks. So it can retain its properties for a longer duration. Number 6, copper electrode cannot sustain high current density. So material removal rate is limited, whereas, graphite electrode can allow high current density and thus MRR can be enhanced easily. Number 7, copper electrode does not absorb dielectric as it is not porous, whereas, being a porous material, graphite electrode automatically absorbs dielectric during machining. This alters spark characteristics and electrode life. Number 8, when not in use, Copper electrode does not absorb water vapor even if it is kept in open atmosphere, whereas, graphite electrode can entrap moisture in the porous regions. This moisture should be removed before using it. And, difference number 9, copper electrode is cheaper. It can also be recycled, has salvage value, whereas, graphite electrode is comparatively costly and cannot be recycled.